moment for a native son now taps to become the next police chief in Washington, D.C. Today, Mayor Muriel Bowser appointed 31 year veteran assistant chief Robert Conti to lead the department. Delia Gonsalves live at the 7th District Police Station with his passionate reintroduction to the city. Hi, Delia. Hi, a reintroduction because he's been around for a while. Joined the police force when he was in high school in 1989. That was the cadet program, of course. You could tell that Robert Conti was speaking directly to the skeptics, many whom I've spoken to over the years, right here in Ward 8. And by all accounts, he's the type of officer that folks have told me they always wanted. A D.C. native, someone who knows the city, loves the city, understands the issues here and its people. But not everybody is happy with this appointment. I have not forgotten where I come from. An impassioned speech by the newly appointed police chief of his hometown. 48-year-old Robert Conti grew up in Northeast to a drug-addicted and dealer dad who he says was swept up in the crack epidemic that ravaged the city in the 1980s and 90s. I can recall the homemade crack pipes that replaced the syringes as his addiction intensified over the years. Many of the challenges and traumas experienced by so many young people today were very real and present in my community, but also in my home. Conti faces incredible challenges, including a recent spike in murders, which has reached a 15-year high, according to the Washington Post, and demands by social activists to reimagine policing with a focus on public health. 197 homicides to date, over 800 people shot in our city. The levels we are experiencing are simply unacceptable and repeat violent offenders must be held accountable for their actions to stabilize communities that are in crisis. I want our officers to demonstrate compassion for people wherever they are on the road of life and be able to use discretion and seek alternatives when it is appropriate to resolve community conflict. But not everyone in the community is happy with the appointment, including the American with Civil Liberties Union. The ACLU wanted a public selection process for an outsider to change the, quote, toxic culture of the D.C. Police Department. A spokesperson now says, quote, we are disappointed Mayor Bowser chose to forego a selection process that includes community input. Yeah, well, the mayor says she bypassed that selection process because she didn't want to drag this on. She believes as a D.C. native, Robert Conti is the right man for the job. I should tell you that the mayor is not legally mandated. She's not obligated to have a selection process. The last three police chiefs, in fact, have all been mayoral appointments. The uh, police union released a statement earlier today applauding the appointment, saying that out of all the internal candidates, Conti was, quote, the favorite of the rank and file. We're live in Southeast tonight. Delia Gonzalez, WUSA 9. Certainly a big job with a lot on the line. Delia, thank you. What happens next now? The D.C. Council will hold confirmation hearings for the public can weigh in on the appointment. Now, the dates haven't been set yet, but they will likely occur early next year. We're told Conti will become acting chief when he takes over the department January 2nd. Outgoing Police Chief Peter Newsham heads to Prince William County, Virginia to lead the police department there.